What is good, everybody? Um, we haven't done a review in a long time, honestly. Um, maybe we'll do a more later on. But for now, we have the Knuckle Crunchers ring, uh, brand new from Mattel. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, the Rumblers. I truthfully don't have any of the Rumblers here uh, to show off to compare. But I figured, you know what? We got this for 20 bucks off Amazon. I don't think anyone's reviewed it yet. Um, so I figure, you know what? Let's dive right in and see what we got. Um, so we'll start on the outside of the packaging. Um, it's This is how it came. Uh, we got a raw ring, and then there's the back. Um, so I guess, and uh, truthfully, I have not done my research at all, so I'm going in very blind on this, which I think will make the review a little bit more fun. But it looks like that's maybe, well, no. I'm just looking at the side. That's a sticker. There's, it's not interchangeable. Like, that's for sure on there, so I don't know why they put that. Um, and then normal ropes, ring posts. Uh, it's kind of like the old Jack's rings, and I truthfully have not bought one of these small rings since I was probably in middle school, so I, I don't know how if this is a common thing for Mattel, but this is how the Jack's rings used to go. Um, and then it looks like there's some small, fun accessories that come with. So, I don't know, there's a lot of options here. Uh, it, they're cool little figures. Uh, we'll see how they actually look in hand, but... Yeah, not too bad. And, like, size-wise, like, this ring... Well, here's JBL Custom I'm working on. But, yeah, like, compared to the Elite size, like, they can fit in the ring. So, I'm going to rip this guy open. Let's go take a look. And Brock Lesnar comes with. And it does have, like, just feeling here, it does have an interesting texture to the mat. So, that's surprising. It's not a plastic mat. It's actually a ring, ring texture. So we'll see when we open it up. Uh, you know what? I'll leave you guys on for this because this might be a fun rip. Oh. Boom. All right. Yeah, that was easy. All right. So toss that packaging to the side. So here we go. Yeah, this is a full texture mat, which not going to lie. If I was like eight or nine, this thing would be fun. Um, so then underneath, we got this, which is all the accessories. Oh, boy. Okay. They're all packed in there. And then we got the base here. Boom. That's actually metal props. This makes a lot of sense. All right. This is going to be noisy. Apologies. Okay. This is pretty cool. I'm just being honest. So, okay, so here's a little stretcher. This figure we're going to look at fully in a minute. Uh, the mini table. It's actually really fun. Uh, we got a random shovel. Uh, there's post. We got a crutch. We got a little two by four. That's pretty cool. Um, looks like a pallet. Uh, got Triple H Sledgehammer. All right, let's throw this together. Let's see how easy this is. I'm assuming very. There's four posts. This is chaos, though. Oh, my God. Mattel, you want to talk about stressing me out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we might have to go off camera for a sec. This is going to take some time. Okay. This was a nightmare, but we got there. So uh, I may regret filming this, but we're gonna put these on real quick. Very simple, just like the Jack's rings. You just slide them right on. Oh God. All right, well don't slingshot torpedo all this shit off the table. But. All right, maybe I will not. I'm also doing this backwards. I'm really making this as difficult as possible. But this thing's rad. Like, I, I gotta say, like, first initial impression, like, I want the whole set. Like, this is really cool. I don't know, like, like, if I were a kid, I'm all in. Like, this is incredible. 
So we got all these accessories. Um, let's take a look at this Brock figure. So it looks really cool. Like his nose is a little flat. I don't know. Maybe we can see from that angle. But yeah, it's it's got pretty good mobility. Like actually, this is a better articulation than some of the basics. Um, I guess the new base. Oh, yeah, the new basics still have it better. But like for a little figure, like this is cool. And like so, here's Mini Brock here. Let's get the light a little better. Um, and then like, there's like an elite figure next to it. Like that's a pretty big size difference, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how this table breaks, but it's cool. Cause it does spring. Oh my God. Okay. We might have to play around with this cause I don't know how easily this table breaks. Uh, kind of easy. All right. You know, I kind of want to actually mess around with this and we're gonna do some slow-mo stuff. So yeah, here's the review. I'm gonna end it with, God, his nose is really effing flat. Like what did Mattel, like this is awesome, but what did you do to Brock's nose? It's like it got busted in. But yeah, no, very, very cool. Very, where's his back tattoo? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to show this from the front, but yeah, Brock's missing his tattoos. Like, even, <laughs> like, all right, like, decals aren't that hard, Mattel, but I get it. Like, these are for kids, so, like, you don't need to go crazy on the detail, but, hey, curb stomp, curb stomp decals. We may need these in little, uh, shit, what's this thing called? Rum no, they're not rumblers. I don't remember what these are called. But, hey, we might need some decals. So, you know what? Let's go slow-mo mode and see how this works. And this might actually be really funny. Okay, well, to summarize, this thing is very springy. It's very fun. Um, the table will not break, no matter what you try. Um, I don't know. I Like, this would be a great toy for kids. Like, I could throw this shit all the time, and that was a cool landing. Uh, and I would have a blast of it. Um, and truthfully, I probably will want to collect all of them. Uh, it's a cool set. Um, they're not, this is 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, well worth it. And honestly, it's a cool set. It's a cool set. Um, until next time, y'all. I am still working away on Ruthless Aggression uh, show. Everything's filmed for episode two of SmackDown. Just need to sit down and edit it. Um, I'll keep you posted.